Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. This is the episode 2 of making a low poly game character. In this episode we're going to be rigging our character. Before we get started I just want to rename my mesh to something like body. In my last video where I showed you how to rig, we made just a simple basic rig. But in this episode, we're going to also be adding some IK bones to our legs. First, we're going to add in a new bone. And make sure you go into the armature tab and enable X-ray. We'll move this up and this will be our hip bone. Go into edit mode. So now we can start editing our bones. I want my character to bend around here. So I'll stop here and extrude another bone to around my arm height. I'll add another bone, one for the neck and one for the head. If I press three on my numpad, I can go into side view and now I can adjust, adjust these bones. Now I will add some arms. So somewhere around the height where this bone is, I will left click and press shift A to add a new bone. And now I can move this. Extrude another bone and one for the fist. You can go with two for the fist if you want to bend the fist, but I think it's fine. I'll again go to side view and adjust these bones. Just select them all and move them. I try to align this bone with this one. Move this one backwards for the elbow. And move this forward. I will move this bone a bit down. And I will again left click where I want to add another bone. So around here. And press shift A to, an ad to add another bone. This will be our thigh bone. Extrude. Go to the side view. And again, I will try to align this bone with this hip bone. And now I will add some foot bones. So one here and one here. That is great. Before we get, before we continue, I have to name my bones. So go up here and we'll start naming our bones. If you left click on a bone, it will highlight that bone in the view here. This is our lower chest. And if we expand here, this is our upper chest. I will just fast forward this video. Uh, the naming convention doesn't matter. You can name them whatever you want, but uh, they have to be recognizable. When you're making arms and legs, you want to, after the name, you want to add in dot L or dot right, depending on which side of the mesh uh, the arm is. So this is the left arm. So that will be arm one dot L. And this is arm two dot L. And then hand dot L. Do the same thing for the legs. I simply want to go back to my mesh and turn on flat shading just so I can see where my mesh is going to bend and I want to adjust my bones so they're at the same position. Move this one a bit and move this one so it's in the center right here. I'll turn on smooth shading again and now I can go into edit mode, select um, my arm and my leg bones, press shift D, then press SX minus one, and then it will flip the bones. And now just use G and X to move it along the X axis. 
And this is, will, of course, not be perfect, but it will work. And before deselecting them, just go down to armature and flip names. And now all our other bones are named arm1.r and so on. I'll just go ahead and delete 0 0.001 from all my bones. You don't have to do that, I just like to keep it clean. Last thing we have to do for this basic rig is parent the bones. So I will select the left and the right arm right here and then select this middle bone, upper chest bone and press Ctrl P, keep offset. Now they're parented to here and I will do the same for the legs. So I'll select both, the, both of the legs and then select this one last and press Alt P sorry control P and keep offset now when we move this bone everything is gonna move with it and if we move this bone arms are gonna move with it that's it for the basic rig now we'll do some IK bones so select both of uh, the ankles here go to side view and extrude on the Y axis so just press Y and now you can select both of the bones and go to, to the bone tab and you have to turn off deform so these bones won't deform any mesh do the same thing for the other one and we also have to select each one and press alt p clear parent so that we can move them freely do the same thing for the other one alt p clear parent and we have to do the same thing for the knees so select both of the knees, go to side view, extrude on Y, turn off deform, and of course clear parent. We'll select uh, both of these bones at the knees and we'll move them forward. Now we have to rename those bones. This one is going to be our IK target dot L the other one is IK target dot R and these ones are pole target dot left and also pole target dot R now what we want to do is go into pose mode, select this shin bone. First we're going to do it for the left leg. Go into the bone constraints tab and add in inverse kinematics. For our target we're going to select armature. We're going to select our IK target.l and for the pole target we're going to select our pole target dot L. Now this will happen that is fine we have to change the chain length to 2 that is how much you, how much bones you have in your leg so from here we have one bone and the second bone if you have maybe three bones then you would set this to 3 and we also have to change our pole angle to 90 yours may be 180 sometimes it's different and do the same thing for the right leg. Go to the bone constraints tab, add in inverse kinematics, set the target to be IK target.r and the pole target to be pole target.r, set the chain length to 2 and pole angle to 90. Now, if we select this bone and move it, you can see that it moves the whole leg with it. And I think it works very well. That is it for the rigging part. In the next episode we're going to be weight painting our character. And if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like, share this around with your friends, follow me on my social media and of course subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye!